In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how the amazing Drafts 5 works with Evernote. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I am going to take you through how I'm using the new updated Drafts 5 with Evernote. Now before I do go into this I did do a video on Drafts 4 uh, a few while ago in my apps I use series so if you haven't seen that yet there's the link you can just click on that link up there and you'll be able to see that video. But a few, maybe about a month ago, Drafts, for, Drafts was updated to version 5. And the best thing about the new update is it's now a completely free application. There is a premium version of it which you can subscribe to, which I have done of course because I just love Drafts and I'm more than happy to contribute to the development of Drafts. Drafts. But in Drafts 5 now, uh, you can actually use this with Evernote just as you've been able to use it before. And to be perfectly honest, it makes Evernote even better than it already is because I can use Drafts to send little bits of notes and ideas to specific notes within Evernote. But there's no point in me standing here and explaining that to you because it's far better to show you how it all works. So let's get straight into Drafts 5 first so that I can show you exactly how it works. Before I do that though, I would just like to ask if you like this video, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be ever so grateful if you would just click on the subscribe button wherever that is and subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's get into it. This is Drust 5 and Evernote. Okay, so here we have my iPhone 10 and I have right down here on the bottom right hand corner my drafts application so I'm going to click that and I'm going to open it up now what we've got here is a keyboard with a row of icons at the top now the only ones we're specifically interested in this week is the Evernote one and as you can see the third icon across or the second one if you don't include the arrow is the Evernote icon so let's say I have an idea while I'm on the subway, so I'm just going to type in idea, exclamation mark, hit return and say this is a fantastic idea. And I'm just going to hit that icon. What's going to happen is that's going to get sent straight over to my Evernote inbox. Now that's not too brilliant, that's not exciting I guess for many of you. But the next example I want to show you is really how I get the power out of Drafts and Evernote together. Now one of the things that I have is with my students I do a lot of one-to-one -one classes and I like to add send my students a feedback form after every class showing them where they can improve and where they were strong and where they were weak. But I need to capture that idea immediately after I've met the students so the, what I'm thinking is fresh in my mind. So what I do is I create a, uh, a note in Drafts. So let's just say I taught Ginny, Ginny this morning. So I'm going to type in Ginny. And then underneath that I will say, well done today Ginny, you made no mistakes. Now I would actually normally add a lot more to it than that but just for to keep things nice and simple I'm just going to use that one sentence. So what I would do then is I would hit the action um, steps up here top right hand corner and I've got here student notes. I just tap that and bang off it goes to my Evernote and that's gone to a specific note in Evernote which I will show you in a minute. Now let's say I now teach my second student and his name is Tommy. So I type in Tommy so that I know who I'm teaching and say unfortunately Tommy 
you made a lot of mistakes today. You must do better next time time and again I would actually add a lot more to this note in in real time but I'm just going to add this now to my student notes bang off it goes and that's gone to Evernote so I've just created three notes using drafts you can see how fast it can be in drafts one of them has gone to my Evernote's inbox because it was just an idea and the last two have gone to just one note in my Evernote which I'm going to show you right now Okay, so here we are back in Evernote. Well, I say back, this is the first time we visited Evernote today. So here we have the original note that I had in the first drafts note that I sent. This is the idea and that is come in right here. It's all basically I wrote. So essentially what I would do is obviously I would write a lot more if I've had an idea, but this gives you an idea of how this has come in in now let's move into the one that i really wanted to show you because that's a simple idea and i know that applications like brain toss will actually do the same thing but the one that really impressed me is this version here now i have uh, over here in my current which is basically where i my current tag which is where i spend most of the day if i'm being perfectly honest in evernote and i have this pre pre-prepared note called student notes and so what I do is I set up the action in drafts and that's not what this video is about. Um, so I, you can find this out. There's plenty of videos out there to show you how to set up an action. But I've set up, so Ginny I put in capital letters and I put the note in there and then appended to the same note I have Tommy. So while I'm doing my, when I do the student feedback form, all I have to do now is just highlight that copy it and put it into the student notes uh, the student feedback form that is also a template I have in Apple's pages once I've done it I can remove Ginny from the list so that it's not gonna um, disappear it's it's not needed anymore and then I will do Tommy's feedback again I just copy that and then send that over to uh, paste that into the note the pages file that I actually use and again, once I've done that, I can actually hit the, that and just remove Tommy. The beauty of this is that starting from the next day, I have a clean sheet and I will have four or five students and I will just add the notes. And at the end of the day, I don't get confused about which student is which and which notes I want to add to who. It's all there and it's really, really easy. Hopefully that's given you some inspiration for using drafts. Uh, as I say, this isn't an episode about actually using drafts. This is how I'm using drafts myself to get notes into Evernote. If you want to learn more about uh, drafts, then I would strongly recommend the video series that David Sparks put together for the drafts website. I'll put a link to that in the links section of this video so you can go in and find out more. And I should also point out that drafts is only available on iOS devices. So if you have an iPad or you have an iPhone, then that's where you can get drafts. It is a free application now and there is a pro version upgrade if you wish. I think it's about $2.50 a month well worth that if you want to start experimenting with setting up your own actions but even without the pro version you can actually use this uh, the sending notes directly to Evernote really easily okay thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week